driving down the main street as I go. Looking around at all the things they've got here. Oh my god, I think they've got a pool. Good morning, good morning. We Here we are in Thargo. Woke up this morning in Nulo, got packed up, got on our way, and we've driven about 130 k's, I think, to Thargo Minda. We're here. Hey, come on, I'm Bob. Oh, hang on, Bob's here too. Hello, yeah. pet. Hello, hey, love. How's going, love? Uh, <laughs> I've got to check the tyres because there may be a dodgy one. Right, out, Bob. See you soon, I'll just stay here nice and cosy. Anticipating my cup of coffee. Yes! So I'll go and find out what's happening with the tyres. We may have a slow leak. That'd be bad. So now one of the systems that Bracky has installed is the mother of all horns. Ready? So the Burke and Wills expedition left Melbourne in 1860 and they were trying to find a, an inland way of crossing the continent from the south to the north. So they were on their way to the Gulf of Carpentaria when they got to Cooper Creek. They left all the rest of the men and camels behind and just four fellas went forward and they actually did succeed in getting to the Gulf of Carpentaria. But by the time they got back, they were pretty sick um, and they had missed their friends by nine hours. But before they left, the team that um, was leaving dug some stuff, they dug and, and buried some food underneath a tree. And that's the dig tree. So let's get there and I'll show you the rest of the story. So we've arrived at the dig tree. Um, so first thing we've got to do is pay some money and uh, then find out what it's all about. Bracky, where are we? Well, flummoxed if I know, <laughs> but I suspect that's Cooper Creek. Yeah. I reckon this looks like a pretty good place to camp. Righto. Well, let's get the tent up. And we did. But something happened. There has been deep emotional pain since last we emotional. spoke. <laughs> Physical. Physical. Wounds. What, what have you done? Blood. You're bleeding. What happened? So we got the stove out. Yeah, good. Got the gas bowl out. Good. Use the hose that connects the gas bowl to the gas stove. Very important. You can't just make that up. So. Seem to look at every nook and cranny of the car. There are many. Uh, and no finding. I'm all 
almost given up on life itself. You had. Because we would have to have uh, made a wood fire in this. Terrible wind. A lot of wind. Uh, anyway, to cut a long story short. Yeah, go on then. As I was, so I looked behind the gas, there's like four other gas bottles in the right hand door. And uh, I looked, I pulled them all out, there's, it wasn't there. I was just about given up. And as I pushed the drawer back in, there was a slight impediment. What had happened was, Oh, praise the hose! In the back, with the special adapter. Oh, you. Should, should you found in. it. Um, okay. It was in the last place you looked. Thank you. Always is. Thank you, Mark. Can I just say yeah. that I wasn't panicking? Yeah, you did well. I just thought, so what? We've got juice. We've got. We can make sandwiches. But We've got tea. tuna, we got tea. tuna, no tea, yeah things might have got mean when the tea <laughs> ran out, but at the moment I'm still on today's thermos so all is good, but anyway, it's been found, we're still married, so that's good. <laughs> I'm still bleeding. Uh... Okay, we're going to go and walk to the dick tree, see you soon. So the real dig tree was Bray's dig tree over there. And this is the search party's dig tree. Two years later. And we're just saying how much water there is because in the paintings that the artist did with the trip. Yeah, yeah, so there's a lot of water. Well, we've had so much rain. So, this is the face tree. Yeah. And uh, in 1898, a photographer, John Dick and his wife, Minnie, decided to carve a memorial to Burke on the dig tree, but the station owner didn't want the tree altered. So he suggested they carve their memorial on another tree, a Coolabar tree, 30 meters away. Yeah. So and that's... Back. That's in there. Look at that neat and tidy camp. <laughs> and this is the shower. It's getting put up. So good. just check in and say hello I've had a beautiful shower in the, the pop-up shower we boiled water it took ages to boil the water and um, we've got a new bucket so that was good so I feel pretty exhausted after all that's happened today we did a big drive it must have been five hours driving I reckon and then we had um, tent set up emotional turmoil of forgetting the parts That went on for a very long time. Finding the parts, uh, going to see the dig tree, having a great camping shower. And Bracky's just getting um, fish and chips and peas and carrots ready for dinner. And I was thinking if I was a drinker, I'd be having a glass of wine now, but I'm not. So I'll just relax and show you the beautiful view. Sunset on the Cooper. Beautiful. Western Queensland. Wow.
mysterious figure paints furtively in the shadows. <laughs> the flies are so bad. This is my first time painting with a fly net on. How's it going? Good. I mean, it's it does impede your eyesight a little bit. Yes. But it's no worse than the flies. Yes, it's very annoying. So very um, nice. I'm having a go at this big tree here. Ah, this fig tree here. It's a kulaba. This is the kulaba. Yes, not the wine, the tree. I only had one go at the opposite lake, opposite side of the. Yes. And so we say goodbye to the furtive painter. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, we've had a beautiful time at Cooper Creek. I'm across the whole Burke and Will story now. The questions I'd like to ask is, why did they leave four blokes behind here on the Cooper Creek when Burke and Wills and the other two, I think it was King and something else, um, walked to the, the Gulf? So I don't know why they didn't, why didn't they all just walk to the Gulf? Anyway, I'll find out. I'll Google that. Um, so yeah, they left four blokes here. They went to the Gulf. They told them to wait for four months. The blokes waited for just over four months and left. And Burke and Wills and the one that was with them turned up nine hours later. Really stupendously bad luck. So anyway, That's the Burke and Wills story. I think both Burke and Wills died trying to get back. And I think there was only one guy left standing. Mm, that may have been King. King. Yeah. That's the story, Rory. We've had a really nice time here. We're just talking through our exit plan tomorrow morning. We've got to pull the tent down. Show them the sunset. I've shown them. Beautiful sunset on now. And tomorrow we have an enormous adventure ahead of us. We are heading down the Streslecky track. We're going to drive in a minka to Lindhurst. Well, actually, no. Tomorrow we're going to do in a minka until about um, three quarters of the way down the track where we're just going to bush camp. Yeah. And then the next day we'll go bush camp to Lake Eyre, yeah. Lake Eyre, yeah. I'm across this. <laughs> He's the architect of the trip. Anyway. Good night.